hi guys this is Manas and uh, let us quickly resume from where we left so this is going to be yet another problem in this course of projection of points so let's start um, a point Q is situated in the first quadrant that means there is a point Q and it's uh, above the horizontal plane and in front of vertical plane alright it is 40 mm above the HP and 30 mm in front of VP that means the, dis the distance H um, is equal to 40 millimeters and the distance D that is from vertical plane the distance from VP is actually 30 millimeters all right draw its projections and find its shortest distance from the intersection of HP VP and auxiliary plane all right so let us do this and uh, before beginning let us write down all these data which have been provided to us the name of the point is Q let us write it point is Q all right and as far as uh, H and D for point Q is concerned we have the value of H H is nothing but the distance um, of point P uh, point Q above horizontal plane so H is equal to the value is given as 40 millimeters above the HP so we're gonna write here 40 millimeters fine secondly the value of D as far as this particular problem is concerned is given as 30 millimeters that means the point is actually 30 millimeters in front of VP okay 30 millimeters what are we supposed to do we are supposed to get the shortest distance of this point uh, Q from the intersection point of horizontal plane vertical plane and an auxiliary plane all right so before beginning I'll do a very short tutorial on how uh, you can go about solving and drawing these uh, these kinds of uh, positioning of points all right so please have a careful look at this now this is basically uh, we've put an object uh, in front of uh, vertical plane and above the horizontal plane so this is the object and this is for front view this is for top view okay once again all right so this when you look at this object from the front uh, somewhere down here you're gonna have the projection of this object this is what you call front view something like this this blue portion is something that you're gonna observe all right so this is vertical plane on which the projection has been made and this is what you call the front view fine now similarly when you look at this object from the top this green portion is something that you will be um, observing and this is exactly where the green uh, the projection is done and the plane on which this projection has been done is what you call the horizontal plane okay this is the horizontal plane all right this over here and this is the projection fine this is the top view in fact and as far as side view is concerned you this is some some kind of a dark here low color uh, is something that you're gonna observe from the side and this is what you call a profile plane or an auxiliary plane right so in place of uh, this three-dimensional object we're gonna have ourselves a point the name of the point is Q and the point is uh, at a height of uh, say 40 millimeters from horizontal plane and 30 millimeters from vertical plane and it's uh, shortest distance is supposed to be calculated. So what is supposed to be done? Let's see. All right Acha, wha One more thing that uh, you guys have to be aware about that you are making a drawing or preparing a drawing on a plain sheet of paper You cannot just bend the sheets in the form of a vertical plane horizontal plane or in fact a profile plane What you need to do is on a plain sheet of paper you need to differentiate different portions Okay, so what we'll be doing is we'll be rotating this horizontal plane in the clockwise sense and on rotation you're gonna ha have yourselves this vertical plane and below the vertical plane you will have this horizontal plane something like this vertical plane will be above XY line whereas HP will be below XY line and you need to rotate this profile plane the yellow color plane which you're seeing right now please watch the mouse carefully uh, you need to rotate this plane in such a way that it becomes um, in it comes actually in the same plane as that of VP HP all right so we need to rotate this in the anti-clockwise sense and when you do so you're gonna have yourselves on a plane sheet of paper above XY line you will have a vertical plane below XY line a horizontal plane and to the right of VP you will have a profile plane here you'll have front view here you'll have top view and here you're gonna have left hand side view fine let us quickly begin so we have written down all these data which have been provided to us and let us quickly get started with the drawing all right so we need to draw a line first so this is what you call the XY line and uh, I'm going to draw one more line uh, this vertical line so called and uh, this over here 
this over here is what you call the vertical plane this is what you call horizontal plane and this you call this is what you call the profile or the auxiliary plane so let us write it down quickly okay that's it folks um, this is all about the planes positioning all right now let us see uh, how the projection can be carried out so as far as first quadrant is concerned you know that pretty well that H is going to be above XY line and D is going to be below XY line please refer my previous lectures on projection of points basics okay then you won't have any doubt as to why H has been kept above XY and why D has been kept below XY alright so let us do this quickly um, H is going to be above H is 40 and then we have uh, D as 30 millimeters that's it let us name them this is since this is H you need to put a dash with the corresponding point the name of the point in such a case in which case is uh, Q so you need to put a Q dash over here all right and similarly this dimension this 30 and it's D so you need don't need to put a dash you simply write Q that's it now the next thing that we'll be doing is finding the shortest distance of this point from the intersection point of HP VP and auxiliary plane as you guys can see this is vertical plane this is H ox horizontal plane and this one over here is auxiliary plane all these three planes meet at this point so let us say the name of this point is let's say intersection point let us have a name it in the form of i let us say that the intersection point of hpvp and auxiliary plane is i okay so we need to have a left hand side view for this so we are going to view this point from over here and uh, let us do this quickly we'll have this line random length all right then this one over here okay now you need to turn this line by an angle of 45 degrees over here you need to turn this line by an angle of 45 degrees so let us do so all right we're gonna produce this line until it meets this xy line somewhere down here okay okay that's it next thing that we'll be doing is we're gonna project this a line from this point over here until it meets this line somewhere here and this is where um, I'll say that we found the left hand side view and as far as side views are concerned you need to put a double dash that's it so that's the side view for you and as far as the shortest distance is concerned it's here join I by Q double dash you're gonna have yourselves the shortest distance and the shortest distance according to the drawing is 50 millimeters well that's it folks um, uh, let us give some final touches to this drawing in the form of dimensions um, this is 40 this over here is 30 and some more dimensioning this is something that we have computed okay so we're gonna write it down shortest distance um, this is front view top view side view that's it front top and side the shortest distance computed from drawing 50 millimeters all right so that's all folks from my side and let us meet again with a new problem thank you for watching the video and please hit subscribe